Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I wasn't going to mess with my peppers too much. Look at that, that's nice and tall. I wasn't going to mess with my peppers too much because this is too, I'm going to take these out. Because I thought, you know, be, eventually we'll be going outside, but that is not working out at all. They're talking about even next for the next 10 days, it's in the 40s at night. And I can't put the peppers outside. And they're talking about, you know, the wind and all this stuff. We're getting, for some reason, we're having a lot of wind all of a sudden, too. So that take you the wind chill factor. So today's um April 15. So I'm gonna do these peppers. And I hope I'm not gonna I don't wanna run this too long. So I'm what I'm gonna do is the cups. I have cups. I'm gonna put the date and the pepper on there. And then I will transplant them. I have my soil ready to, ready to go. So I'm going to transplant them out because, like I said, I was going to save them just plant them out outside. But from what they're talking about, at least two more weeks, I mean, maybe longer, at least two more weeks that they're going to be inside the house. So I might as well give them something bigger to play around in and get some more roots and strong. And these are hot peppers too. Get some more roots, you know, so I can just must more rusky. So I'm going to go ahead and transplant these into cups. So I'm going to go ahead and write, off the, write out the cups and then transplant them out. Hold on, give me a minute. Okay, so that's the three moraski I just did. A moraski. I think I'm just gonna do all the all the peppers. This one is peach sugar. A one peach sugar. Bl rush. Oh yeah, sugar rush. Rush. Oh okay. Just peach sugar rush. And I planted this, yeah, instead of up today's day, I'm just going to put one. I planted these, um, everything is 25th January. I only have one. Next one is in the middle. And it's this side. So this one is, my boy is leg, leggy. I didn't know, realize it got so leggy. Okay, this one is a mixed pepper, but I'm not sure. It does. It just said mixed pepper. So I guess whatever comes out comes out. Twenty fifth January. That's a mixed pepper. So that's the middle. Got this right here. This is sweetie pie. Oh, one sweetie pie. At least I get one sweetie pie. I need to make sure Sweetie Pie survive because it's the only one. And all that's left is Big Red. I have two Big Red. Big red, big red one. Okay. Big red. So that's all the peppers for this one.
I have to make sure my big red survive. Big red one. <laughs> big red. Got to make sure big red survive this transplant. And I have one more sweetie pie. It's the only one also. It's only one survive. One came out. So I got to make sure those two survive my transplant because I have nothing to replace it with. Let me get these done and then we go from there. Now I'm going to transplant these out now and of course I forgot to snip the bottom which is going to make this a little messier job than it would have if I had done it first. But sometimes you forget you catch yourself and get it done correct like you want to. Yeah this is going to be a little messy here but I need to let these bad boys have some drainage plus I want to put the water in the bottom. Just in case my little fungus gnats decide to come over here, I need to make sure I water them from the bottom up from now on out. And everybody fits on my tray down here. Let me bring my tray up. Okay. First one out. This is going to be so leggy. This is my sugar rush. Peach sugar rush. And it is so leggy. I know how I missed it wasn't it's it was in the back of the container, so I wasn't paying attention to it. In the back of the container, so and as usual, I forget my gloves again. So, fingers it is, soap and water later. Only have one sugar rush, hopefully, it will be okay. So, this is sugar rush. <laughs> okay, this is how you mess up. It says mixed pepper. 
I just put it in the container. Now I have to find my sugar rush. Look here, right next to it. Now I could take, since it's just one, I'm going to do what we, just like this. And I'm going to change the name. Peach Sugar Rush. Flip this around and just line up mixed pepper. There you go. Problem solved. Let me get to my little mixed peach sugar rush here. Line it out. And this is going to be mixed pepper. Let's ro keep on rolling. Now I'll pay attention to which one you take out so you can see which one. You can see where it's going. These two are Moraski. Moraski. So I'm going to get these bad boys out. I try not to water these two days. Ooh, two days now. Because I wanted to make sure they were dry enough so I could get them out. Okay. Look at the root. This is the root of system of three peppers. So I should have done this a while back. But like I said, I thought... Look for my little Moraski. Here we go. I thought... By now, I mean, we started off so beautiful with the weather. I thought we'd be outside by now. You know, at least be able to transplant outside. I mean, cold weather, yeah, but can't put the peppers and tomatoes and stuff outside yet. Or it's just the heat lovers or the warm, well, the warm, you know. Peppers are like warm weather. Peppers are like warm weather. Plants are like warm weather. We can't put those outside as yet. So, and my little friend don't have a cut at the bottom. So let me go ahead and snip, snip. So there's a little drainage going on here because the water, the soil is real moist. But it's indoor, it's containers, so it's not gonna stay moist for long. Cause in here, I think every two days I've been watering them every two days now. Okay, let me find another Moraski and plant these out. As you can see, I did not. Yep, this one is cut. Come here, little man. Let me put you in here too low yep might be a little bit too low but that's okay that's all right put you here and give you some soil and move you on I have two sets of peppers but the kids are uh, I'm babysitting for the next two days been babysitting for the past week and I'll be babysitting till the weekend so I got a break right now. <laughs> That's why I said, let me run in here while they're occupied and do this because in a few, they're going to come and want attention. Can you do anyway? I'm not going to go into all that. We're just going to, I'm just going to let that go because, you know, I volunteer to do it when they need my help. And I'm glad it's been a while, you know, with all the stuff that goes going on. It's been a while since I, this, I had these. Support uh, so well since these came to stay with me, so I don't mind. Actually, it's been a year since they've been here with me. A year, but you know, so like I said, we're trying to get back to normal as normal as normal can be. Okay, so three more Moraski down, and let me get this mixed pepper out. There. Oh, I gotta make sure I don't mess up, cut a hole. I can say half and half. I think the soil, some of these did not come out. Some of my peppers did not come out in this container. So what I'm going to do is, um, I need to, I, I'm going to go ahead and start some more stuff inside them. Because um, I have, like, I have no squash. I have no, this is sweetie pie. I have one sweetie pie. So I need to make sure sweetie pie survive. Okay, sweetie pie. Big red. Where's sweetie pie at? My chocolate did not come out. This is big red right here. So big red. So let me take your big red. Big red one. Take a big red right here. And then we go from there. So I can see who I'm chasing down. Since I can't find sweetie pie. 
And please tell me I didn't mix up sweetie pine plant, sweetie pine. Another container. Okay, big red. And yeah, this little guy needs his own spade because he was shriveling up on me. Big red. So I put big red in here and fill him around. And the leaves were changing too, so I know they were tattered a little cup. So I'm doing one batch tonight. Tomorrow Friday, I'll do another batch. And by the, um, hopefully by the weekend, I can get some more stuff done. But I need to plant some, like I said, I have no squash. So I need to get some squash done. And I need, uh, uh, cucumber is not, cucumbers is not hard. You know, they go real fast. So I, I use them on the cucumber. But I do need to get some squash going. And I, I'm going to try this year to, I'm going to try this year to do my squash like sweetie pie. I'm going to try this year to do squash. Sweetie pie is the one in the middle. Nope. I am still trying to figure out who's who here. Sweetie pie is the one on the end. Why keeps in the middle? I'm trying to figure. Um, I keep losing my. I get a nice squash crop, and then the vine borers just kill it. Oh, look here. The vine borers kill everything. So I'm. I'm gonna see this year if I can be disciplined enough to start one crop and then, you know, a couple of weeks start another. So at least I can maybe out be outsmart the vine borers. I saw somebody last year, I think. I saw somebody put their squash in a cage. I'm trying to remember who it is. I'm trying to remember who it was. I put their squash in a cage. I I did not I've been so busy, I didn't ever get a chance to go back to see what his results were. Cause he's one of the um he's one of the channels that was subscribed to before I had a YouTube channel. As a matter of fact, a lot of the people, I, would, I subscribed to a lot of people before I had my YouTube channel. I have not been back to see a lot of them, you know. I mean, it's like, I can't, I can't believe how busy it's been. So eventually, I hope, no hole in this one. I got to put a hole in this one. I'm hoping eventually, you know, I get a chance to at least go back and see some of the ones I was subscribed to before YouTube, I got my channel. But I know it was one of the person I was subscribed to. He put his zucchini in a cage. Or fence it off so the vine boys couldn't get to it and I didn't even get a chance to go back because I was like oh that is so smart but I did not get a chance to go back and see what happened and I know he said you was gonna have to hand pollinate it I tried hand pollinating it mine did not was not successful so it's more likely me and wow look at the time it's like 11 minutes already okay so here we go two four six eight plants transplanted out my peppers planted January 25th and like I said I thought by now they would get a chance to go outside since we started off so nice the weather started off so nice when we started out but 10 day calendar said no no time soon so I just go ahead and transplant them out now and I have another, like I said I have another set I'll do it after the kids leave this weekend I'll do another set and then go from there so thank you for watching my hands are so dirty. Oh man, now my worry about is make sure those those squash, I mean that squash, those freaking gnats does not destroy my plants. I'm gonna leave them over here for now. I'll turn and keep them away from the light for tonight. Let them chill out. Okay, thanks for watching. See you on my next video.